So I'm not gonna lie, I cheated again. I actually chose two characters to be my number one spot. And I know that's a cop-out, but I just can't help it. I love these two characters so much individually, I couldn't choose between the two of them. The tie for my number one favorite character is... Atticus from To Kill a Mockingbird and Margie from Fargo. They're both incredibly different, but in many respects, they're actually very much alike. Each one show a great deal of strength, but also a great deal of restraint. A great deal of power, but also a great deal of kindness. And both fight as hard as they can for the very simple, basic human virtues that they hold so dear to them. Atticus Finch is the father of our main character, Scout. He represents a black man who's charged with beating a white woman, even though all the evidence points to that he didn't do it. But in a very racist town at a very racist point of history, that argument is not so easily made. Atticus not only stands up and represents him, but takes pride in doing so. With complete class, dignity, and honor. Despite the fact that very few people support him, and many of them threaten his life. When he's up there making his case, you can see that there isn't a doubt for any moment that he believes every single word he's saying. He stands by that this life is anybody's life. The only difference is the hatred being held against him, which Atticus Finch is trying so desperately to fight against, and is forced to talk to adults like children as well as talk to his children like adults. Margie is a little bit of a different hero. She's a chipper cop in Fargo assigned to a murder case and uses all her intelligence and detective know-how to try and crack it. All while keeping an optimistic and smiling point of view, as well as being seven months pregnant. She asks the tough questions, works as hard as she can, puts up with people taking her seriously or not taking her seriously, and all with the most cheerful grin and upbeat attitude. Where many could see her as kind of a comedic character, and at times she sort of is, we realize that all these people who think they have it figured out with their brilliant schemes are actually light years behind what this woman has figured out already. That simple pleasures are the greatest treasures. Now while her life may not be glamorous, it's better to focus on the things you do have as opposed to the things you don't. Both characters seem to hold their very simple values close to them, and both seem to fight endlessly for them whether they realize they're fighting for them or not. Their differences are fun to compare as well. Atticus seems very stone-faced and firm, while Margie seems very smiling and pleasant. But while Atticus is never one to resort to physical violence, Margie, being a cop, inevitably has to. Both of them come from worlds where their environments try very hard not to take them seriously. But nevertheless, they stick to their guns and prove their honor. They both fight against the excuses of society that say, maybe this bad thing is good, but both of them trust their gut and go up against such complicated hate with such simple ethics. So simple that you're always shocked at the end that it has to actually be explained to some people. That this isn't just common sense for everybody. That no matter how hard the haters may yell, it doesn't make them any more right. These are the quiet heroes. The heroes that don't look for trouble but will still fight against it. The heroes that don't have a lot of money, but still feed off of so many rewards. The heroes that know the simplest questions often have the simplest answers. The heroes who don't need to journey far in order to find the great joys in life. The heroes that know that true wealth lies in mere appreciation. These are characters that obviously love the right things, and fight for the right things, and teach the right things, and never ask for any fame or glory in return, simply because they don't need it. What they have is perfect enough in all their imperfections. And I don't think there's any other word I can use to describe these two characters than perfect. Much as these two see their lives, I value them, I admire them, I constantly learn from them, and I will never stop loving them. Atticus and Margie, my all-time favorite characters. Have you ever seen anything more beautiful? Heck, Norm, you know, we're doing pretty good.